An office of the vice president official is being warned that interfering with House of Representatives hearings would eventually merit a contempt citation as officials ordered to show up at the congressional probe were given travel orders. During the hearing of the House Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability on Wednesday, November 20, Abang Lingkod Party List Representative Joseph Stephen Paduano claims that it seems the OVP is hiding its personnel needed for the panel's probe into alleged fund misuse. Paduano says previous travel orders show though where the OVP personnel were headed to, but the recent ones provided by OVP Director for Administrative and Financial Services, Rosaline Sanchez, had no particular location. Paduano then reminds Sanchez that she should not use the lack of a specific area to visit inside the travel order as a reason, as it could be considered undue interference with the House hearing. That's why wag niyong gamitin palusot dito na walang specific time, date, and place. Ma'am, lastly, I just want to warn you. Don't you know, by telling in this committee, you're violating Section 11 of our rules. Letter F po. And your interference. That's our internal rules. You're violating Section 11 of Letter F, Paragraph F of our rules and your interference during scheduled hearing by the committee. In response, Sanchez says she only relayed a travel order which came from OVP Assistant Chief of Staff Lemuel Ortonio, who was earlier cited for contempt for not showing up despite numerous invitations. Uh, Mr. Chair, earlier I was asked to check for records for the travel orders. So I, that's what I did, Mr. Chair. I just checked. So for the period of November 10 to 15, Mr. Chair, Ms. Gina Acosta uh, trans traveled to a satellite office and the place is specific. But Mr. Chair, another travel order was issued for the period of November 18 to 22, Mr. Chair. And I'm, ju I'm just basing it, my statement. And who signed that uh, travel order? As mentioned earlier, Mr. Chair, it was uh, Assistant Chief of Staff, Lemuel Ortonio. Aside from Ortonio, the panel previously cited for contempt to OVP Special Disbursing Officer Gina Acosta, former Education Assistant Secretary Sunshine Fajarda, and her husband, the former Department of Education official Edward Fajarda, for not showing up despite numerous invitations. Lawmakers believe the four OVP personnel can address questions regarding allegedly anomalous transactions of Vice President Sara Duterte's office, particularly regarding the confidential fund usage.